Making a feature is easy, but making a bug is faster. Hello guys, my name is Pierre, and today I will talk to you about integration testing. Here, here on Open Startup page of Hacker House, you can see that we show all who integration tests. So if you look at this, we use qawolf.com to make whole integration. Um, we show all whole community or GIFs that shows whole test that pass or fail. Now I will show you QAWOLF interface in order to make some tests on Bubble. So here it is. You can create a test run tests in order to to see if it fails or not and then import it on your open startup page um, so now i will show you that it's really low code almost no code to make your integration tests so i will make a test on yes house for slash version test login i will show you um, the first test that is the most important the login part if the login doesn't work then your community can't login on your website so we need to test it every time before deploy so we create a test. Here's the test. So the first time you come, it will charge the page. Now it will rec record every action you do. For example, I will put my demo email. So it's demo at demo dot demo. You can see that it automatically creates your code, the code on the left. You will set the password and you will click on login. You see that the test works. And in order to really know if you are re redirected correctly, you will assert um, a text on the current page. For example, on this page, there is um, create your profile as text. So we will make a line of code that is asset text. You will put the page as input and the text you want to assert to know if it's on the page. So we will make put create your profile. So if you run now the test, we'll see we will see if it passes or it fails. If you put create your profile with two E, it won't work. But just with one E, it's the right text so it will pass you can see that it's automatized now and you can run it at every moment I, to end with the test part you can add triggers and for example I, we have a daily production test but you can create your own trigger you can you can set the frequency and the environment. We use the environment staging in order to use to test only the development part for now. But later on, we can use the, the environment production to test your live application. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you on La Piscine. <laughs> see you guys.